Hello crafty friends, working in my scrappy art journal today, I'm going to use up one of my unloved art pages to create a new work of art. First, I'm going to work on the background of the project. Using a glue stick, I'm going to cover the entire area of both pages and putting extra glue in the center fold. I'm then applying one page from a book and I'm applying it sideways. Make sure that it adheres really well. I'm going to use a ruler to tear off some of the excess paper. I'm now going to add a thin layer of gesso over the entire area. A lot of people will ask, why am I putting down the book paper if I'm just going to cover it up? Because there will be layers on top of this. I do it because it does create dimension and although little, some of this does shine through to the end project. I've actually made a video explaining this in detail. I will link that video in the description box below. I want to add one more layer for the background. I'm going to first add some Mod Podge. Yes, I have squeezed a little too much on my page. I'm just going to use a paintbrush and cover the entire area and then just remove the excess. I'm using this tissue paper with black text on it. This is a Dina Wakely product and I think it works really well for backgrounds. To explain a bit further what I was saying earlier, you can see the text shining through from the book page I applied first. This creates dimension, so although you cannot see it very clearly, it is there and it provides a beautiful addition to the background. I've applied a layer of Mod Podge over the tissue paper too, and once it's dry, I'm going to tear off the excess. To soften this entire look, I'm going to add gesso over the entire tissue paper surface. As you can see as I'm adding it, it pushes everything into the background. If I left it as is, any kind of focal point or work I did on top of this would be lost in the background, as it would have been too bold. This is my piece of unloved artwork, just some experimenting that I did. I'm not crazy about it, but I want to reuse it. What I'm going to do is just cut out some circles. I'm drawing rough circles on the back of the paper and then I'm going to cut these out by hand. I don't want them perfectly round, that's why I'm hand cutting them. It's okay if they're a little bit wonky. I don't have an exact plan as how this page will look, I just have an idea. So I'm working quite intuitively so some things will change. Once all the circles are cut out, I'm going to start placing them onto the art journal page. In my mind, I pictured the circles just in rows, across and down. So when I first place them down, I've got eight and I'm feeling they're a little bit too squashed and too big. So I'm going to trim them slightly and make them all a little smaller so they fit better next to each other. And as I was doing that, I thought it will look better if we have more circles on the page. So three down and four across. So I'm making them even smaller so I can fit more onto the page. You'll notice I'm leaving one area open without a circle. I'm thinking of putting my sentiment there and I wanted to stand out and be different and not actually have a circle there. Now I want each circle to have a little bit of difference. So I'm going to add something different to each one. For this first one, I'm going to add some crumpled up black thread just underneath it to give it a good contrast and some additional texture. For the circle I'm going to add some gold leaf just underneath using my glue stick to apply directly to the paper and then adding the gold leaf on top. To create balance I'm going to create this on one of the circles on the left page too. I'm using a craft glue to attach the circles to the page. I'm using a liquid glue because you have a little bit of time to move elements around if needed. For a couple of the other circles, I wanted the underneath to be quite white and stark and bright. So I'm using some gesso quite thickly under two of the circles. This didn't really work out as great as I wanted. I should have perhaps maybe used a white cardstock, but it works fine in the end. 
For the top left circle, I wanted to add some texture. So I've got a piece of white tissue paper that is cut unevenly that I'm putting down with some glue stick and it's sticking up all the way around the circle. Once the gesso is nice and dry, I'm going to stick down the circles on top of that. And then I'm going to stick down the remaining circles. While I was working on this, I realized I don't really like that tissue paper on the top left. So thankfully the glue is still wet. I'm going to peel that off and I'm going to rather apply a piece of cheesecloth. That looks much better. Dry all the glue well and then I'm going to use a black fine liner pen to go around a couple of the circles. I'm going to go around multiple times and not very neatly. I want it to look very hand drawn and scribbly. You could also use a marker or a colored pencil for this. I want some of the circles to blend into the background. I'm going to apply a little bit of gesso with my finger over a certain section of two of the circles to help them fade into the background. But not the entire circle, just part of it. For some of the other circles, I'm going to apply some black splatter. I cover up the other circles so they don't get messed up with the splatter as I only want it over certain sections. And then I use my watered down black acrylic paint with a fan paint brush and just sprinkle a little bit over the circle. And I will repeat that on the bottom left. For the open area where I'm going to put my sentiment, I'm putting some of the black thread there too to balance out the thread I've used on the bottom right. And then I'm applying the words, although they stickers, because it's going over the thread, I want it to stick well, so I'm using the liquid glue. And I'm applying three words. Using the gold Artex acrylic marker, I'm going to press down the brush tip twice to create a little heart shape. I'll do that on the top left times two and on the bottom circle times one. I want to add some more mark making in white. I'm using a correction pen here. It's got a fine tip so it makes small marks, which I really like. And I'm going to apply it randomly over a couple of the circles. Now I've managed to find a really beautiful metallic acrylic paint in gold. I found this, it is in Australia in Big W and it is a very inexpensive, I think it's $2, $2.50 for the tube, but it's a really beautiful metallic. I've never seen an acrylic paint that keeps the metallic like this. Even if you water it down, it still has a beautiful luster. This weekend I managed to find it also in silver and copper, so I've bought those colours too. I'm yet to try them, but I'm hoping they have the same metallic finish, like this. So I've splattered that here and there over the page. A little difficult to see on the video as the camera is a bit far away from the page. I will show you a close-up later, but it has a really beautiful luster. Using my black fine liner again, I'm going to go around my little hearts to give them some definition. I'm feeling the sentiments a little bit floaty in the center of this, so I want to actually make a circle around it. Thankfully, that glue is also still wet, so I've pulled it off, and I'm using a black watercolor pencil that I'm dipping the point of in some water, and then making a very rough circle, and then I will place the sentiment and string 
back inside this. But first I want to lighten that up so that the sentiment stands out more. I'm going to apply a thick layer of gesso just in that circle. And then once it's dry, I'm going to apply glue directly onto the page and put my sentiment and string back on top of that. Now I feel like it's grounded and no longer floating around aimlessly. At this point I thought I was finished and then I found this lying on my desk. It is just the negative of a number two cutout that I had done for a different project in black. So I want to paste that down. I don't know why but I feel I really want it there. It is quite bold but I think it suits the project and I really love that as a finishing touch. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to recreate some of your artworks into something else. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy creating. I will see you again soon. Bye.